What I'm doing here, Josh, I'm trying to get, use these uh, blanks that I put in there so I can see what, this, what the uh, center lines are. Because I have to lay this out in a standard rule because I don't have a print yet. If I get a print, then I can verify it. But I want to get the dimensions so that when I do get this, start to lay out the casting, I know where the, the uh, casting's supposed to be. And so I've got, I've got a plug up there in that header, and I've got a plumb bob down here. And what I'm going to do is measure from this plumb bob string to try to pick up this center line here to see what the distance is from this header to here because that's going to be crucial when I lay this out. I have the casting. I can go ahead and lay that out, but I want to I want to have some backup dimensions so where I can verify what I'm doing. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm get I'm picking up dimensions. I have a rough drawing here, which I'm going to take this this information that I have here and lay it out at full size on my board, which you saw in the in the uh, shop there. And so I'll lay it out in standard rule. And then when I go to build, lay out the pattern, it's going to be expanded because the cast iron shrinks a quarter inch to the foot when it's when it's uh, cools off. So that's what I'm doing. I've got some in inside calipers that help me to measure an inside dimension. And then what I do, this is a standard rule, same one you use anywhere else. And then I can put that on there and I can measure. This one here is four and seven eighths. So that's what I I pick up some dimensions there for myself. So what I what I found out today, Josh, is that You've got water on the other end and it's heated up and its steam comes down through this header and through these header housings which I'm making, I think they call them uh, header pipes and those are the castings. The header pipes, the hot steam comes down through here into the cylinder and then it pushes the rods that make the wheels go. So this in here gets to be about 400 degrees in here and then they have a screen here which keeps the soot down when they blow out of these pipes. This screen here keeps the uh, soot. And as you can see, this cavitation along this metal here is the results of all the turning of all the hot steam in here. And I know one guy said that sometimes the temperature down here is 700 and it's 400 up here. But today I heard it was 400. So. Then you have this little pipe over here is a steam steam blower line, and inside the uh, cab there, the engineer can adjust it for more or less. So you're getting to you're getting about anywhere from 160 to 200 uh, pounds of boiler pressure that comes out through this this header pipe here, your header header housing actually header housing, then these are the header pipes which are the castings. And there's, there's several other castings on, these, on this uh, engine that may be uh, needed to be worked on. So, And then there, down here is a big hole which is covered with the plate so we don't get a lot of junk down there. And that's uh, an exhaust there also. And then of course you got your exhaust goes out your stack. There's your stack up there which is outside. huh? That's what you see all the smoke from the, the steam engine there. So these housings are going to be cast out of what's called base metal uh, cast iron. And they weigh anywhere from about uh, 400 pounds piece. So they're pretty heavy. As you try to maybe move them around, they're heavy and you don't want to try to do it by yourself. You, mm -hmm. you know, hurt yourself. So. And inside there, I'm going to be taking off dimensions. As I showed you, this is a, a caliper that I made, one of the tools that I made as an apprentice pattern maker. And what it helps you do is to take dimensions, 
this is adjustable. You can take dimensions inside of a casting, then you can open it up, take it out, and then close it back up. Then you can actually measure what your dimension is, which is very useful for what I'm going to be doing. So.